Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn the very first important practical topic under risk management subject that is calculation of expected return and standard deviation. In this video, we are going to solve the sum which will be based on standard deviation and expected return. Again, a very important topic for all the TYBMS students. So let us see how to solve the sum based on expected return and standard deviation. Okay, the very first type of sum is based on risk and return analysis and under that we are going to solve sum based on calculation of expected return and standard deviation. Now, for finding expected return and standard deviation, there are two types of sum. Number one, when probability is not given and one where it is given. So, we are going to solve first sum based on when probability is not given. The formula for expected return is R bar is equal to sigma R upon N and standard deviation ka formula is the root of sigma R minus R bar the whole square upon N. Now based on the two formula let us see how to solve the sum. Okay. So the question given here is Mr. J gives detail of his portfolio. There are multiple years and they are giving you returns of A limited and B limited and they are asking you to calculate the expected return and standard deviation. So let us start finding the expected return and standard deviation for A limited. Okay. Now the columns will be years. So under years we will note down 2003, 2004, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2006, 2007 and last will be 2007 to 2008. Now under returns, let us just note down whatever returns have been given to us. So it's 6%. 48% negative 15% 7% and 11% the total of that will be required so when you add up and when you subtract the negative 15 you get the total as 57 so now very first thing what we need to find is expected return expected return is nothing but r bar which is sigma r upon n where R ka value is the total of R was 57 number of so 1 2 3 4 5 so we have 5 when you divide we get a value as 11.40 percent so our expected return is 11.40 percent right so we finish with the expected now in order to find standard deviation our next column is R that resembles all your returns minus R bar that is the expected return so it will be 6 minus 11.4 48 minus 11.4 negative 15 minus 11.4 7 minus 11.4 11 minus 11.4 so the difference so we will get the difference so 6 minus 11.4 is negative 5.4 following it with 36.6 negative 15 negative 11 will give you negative 26.4 7 minus 11 is negative 4.4 and 11 minus 11.4 uh, is negative 0 0.4 now the last column you need to find the square of the uh, values that you have found in r minus r bar so the square of these numbers will be 29.16 six 19.36 and 0 0.16 the total of which will be approximately 2085.20 so we have got the value now let us see how to get your standard deviation so standard deviation ka formula was it is the root of sigma r minus r bar the whole square upon n which would come to you know the root of 2085.20 upon 5 so you divide and then when you press the square root sign we'll get a final answer as 20.42 so we finished with the first part of a so we got the expected return of 11.4 percent and the standard deviation of 20.42 so this was of part a now similarly we'll have to do for b limited 
सो इयर्स में अगेन वी हैव 2003-2004-2004-2005-2005-2006-2006-2007-2007-2008 रिटर्न विल नोट डाउन एस 12-40-6-20-3 एंड द टोटल ऑफ विच विल कम अप्रॉक्स टू सो वी एड अप द वैल्यू सो वी हैव 12 प्लस 40 प्लस 20 प्लस 3 माइनस Six, so which comes to sixty-nine. So we need to find the R bar that is expected return. That is nothing but the total of R divided by n. So in our case, it will be sixty-nine divided by five, which comes to thirteen point eight. Okay, this is how we found the value of expected return. Now let us find the value of standard deviation. so we need to find now r minus r bar for the standard deviation so r we have all the values of return and we have to subtract that with your r bar so 12 minus 13.8 will give you negative 1.8 next it will be 26.2 next negative 19.8 next 6.2 and 10.8 Next, we need to square them in order to get r minus r bar the whole square. So it will be three point two four, six hundred and eighty six point four four, three hundred and ninety two point zero four, thirty eight point four four, and one one six point six four. Once you get that, we total it up. So after we get that, we total it up and we'll get the value as one, two, three, six point eight zero. Lastly, we need to find the value of standard deviation. So standard deviation is nothing but the square root of total of r minus r bar the whole square upon n. So it will be nothing but the square root of one, two, three, six point eight zero upon five. The value of which, after dividing and pressing the square root, you should get the answer as fifteen point seven three percent. Yeah. So with this, we were able to solve some based on expected return and standard deviation when probability was not given. This was the very first type. Now we'll be solving some in which we will be having the probability. so let us see how to solve sum based on expected return and standard deviation when the probability is given okay now the second method for finding the expected return and standard deviation is that when probability is given two formulas expected return is equal to r cube is equal to sigma p into r and standard deviation is the root of Summation p into r minus r bar the whole square. Now the question given here is the rate of return of a limited and b limited are given below. There is probability which is given. Three conditions are given and two companies are given. We need to find the expected return and the standard deviation. So let us see now how to solve this particular sum. First we are going to solve for a limited. So we'll note down this as a limited. Particulars may we have been given. Three condition. One is the boom period. The other one is normal period, and last one is the recession period. Now the probability which is given here is zero point three, zero point four, and zero point three. The returns of a limited are. Forty, sixty, and eighty. Now we need to find p into r. So we'll multiply probability into return, and we get the values as twelve, twenty-four, and twenty-four. And we need to get the total of p into r, which comes to sixty. So here, a first formula that is expected return r bar is equal to submission of p into r, which comes to sixty percent. so that's our first answer 
now let us see how to find the value of standard deviation so next column is r minus r bar now r minus r bar will be all the values of r subtract with r bar so the difference we will get it as negative 20 0 and positive 20 the square of that will go into our next column so negative 20 the whole square is 400 0 400 and lastly whatever value we have got in r minus r bar the whole square we multiply that with the probability so we get the value as 120 0 and 120 and we need the total of the last column which is 240 so now finally we need to apply into the formula of standard deviation which is nothing but the summation of p into r minus r bar the whole square so which comes up to you know that will be the root of 240 which comes to 15.49 percent this is how we had to solve for a limited now similarly we'll go for the next one that is b limited now again particulars may we have three conditions so we have the boom condition we have the normal condition and we have the recession now the probability given here are again 0 0.3 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 the returns are 90 60 and 40 so we will add up that so we get the answer as okay returns play actually we don't need to add up we will multiply first and then we will add up so 0 0.3 into 90 will be 27 24 and 12 and now we will add up this total so p into r car total comes to 63 so our value the expected return is sigma p into r which comes to 63 percent next is r minus r bar so all the values of r minus is 63 we get the values as 27 negative 3 and we will get this as negative 23 the square of that so we have 729 9 and 529 whatever value we have got in r minus r bar the whole square we multiply that with the probability so we get the values as 218.7 3.6 and 158.7 and we will total it so the total will come approximately 381 once i get the total lastly we will put that into standard deviation ka formula that is summation of p into r minus r bar the whole square so that is the square root of 381 which comes approximately up to 19.52 percent so with that we were able to solve uh, some based on expected return and standard deviation when probability was given so with this we have completed the first topic under risk and return analysis based on expected return and standard deviation under two method one when probability is not given the other when probability is given so i hope everyone have understood this stay tuned for other videos thank you